Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have a Heathkit SB220 here. Needs a lot of stuff done to it. I already started doing some work. Then I stopped uh, so I could make a video real quick. So needs a band switch. Needs new parasit expressors. I always change those. I'll put a new plate blocking cap in. Air variables are good for the plate side and the load side. I'm going to put the metering board in from Harbach. Filter cap kit from Harbach, new meter lamps, series glitch resistor, meters check good. Has a standby operate switch I'll reconnect, has a makeshift soft key, I'm removing that. You don't ever want anything questionable connected to that winding on the filament transformer. It's only rated for 100 milliamps, the one they rectify. If you put a short on it, you'll take out the filament transformer. A customer already has an ARB box from Ameritron. I already removed the two chokes and the capacitors and drilled the holes to ground the grid, so I'll ground the grids. Uh, bias modification, I need to do a uh, touch up on solder joints. I'll reconnect the standby operate switch. And uh, SO239s look good. I'm going to replace these pieces right here. They're bent up pretty good. I have a parts unit that I can steal them off of. And also needs a fan. So. I'll go over everything when it is completed. I will see you guys soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm back with the completed SB220. It's been a long day, so I'm going to make this quick. This thing needed a lot needed a lot of work. So now it's all set. Did the bias modification, cleaned the contacts, hooked up the standby operate switch. Since it was already there, someone already drilled the hole. A Teflon wire. I have a lot of it. Not needed, but I have a lot of it. I love it, and that's all I use. Replace the fan, brand new motor, reuse the old impeller, grounded the grids, SO239s are good, changed the capacitor, touched up on solder joints for here and other areas. Here's the old band switch. As you can see, the contacts right there are blown apart. So I replaced it with a brand new one from Harbach Electronics. I put some silicone between the lead and ground. I was away from it, but I didn't want to have to unsolder that. All of that looks good, so I didn't want to have to unsolder it and mess with it. So I just put a little silicone just so there's no way it would ever bend towards ground. If the guy had it apart and for some reason he had his hands back there or tool back there. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I'll show you the top. I'll be right back. Okay, so you got the new metering board from Harbach Electronics, filter cap board from Harbach Electronics. He makes awesome kits. Great, Jeff's a great guy over there. Got the series glitch resistor for the plate supply. New meter lamp bulbs. I always snug up on the inner nuts. I take the outer ones off and I snug the inner ones up. Input rotor switch cleaned with the oxid gold. Brand new band switch, air variable on the plate side had zero damage, but I got rid of those washers. Sometimes they're in here for spacers. Just a bad idea. You don't want to do that. These two coil assemblies had to come out, so everything soldered really well, and that's nice and tight over here. New doorknob cap for the plate blocking cap. New parasitic suppressor assemblies I I made. Got the new motor, like I said before, with the old impeller. I think that's about it. So, also getting a new set of Pentalab tubes. Great company. Awesome customer service. Can't say enough good stuff about them. Just great people. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. My neck is killing me, so... Um, I'm gonna go relax. This was a this was a lot of work. This one, so waiting on parts for this one. Another AL811H. Waiting on payment for this one over here. Got another SB220. I'm waiting on parts for and more boxes. The six meter transformer for the plate supply is arriving tomorrow by freight uh, with a lift gate. So you're gonna get to see that, and I'm gonna get to work on that power supply so um, I'll be making room here and I'm gonna get to work on that and you guys will get to see that when it's completed you'll get to see it producing power so thanks for watching have a great day 
Once again, ampreparegod.com and my phone number is 203-892-4119. All I use is Pentalab tubes. Great company. Okay, catch you guys later. See you soon.